aspiration or the action of drawing fluid by suction from a vessel or a cavity. So we aspirate in the foot and the sorts of fluids that we might take off would typically be, well first off, serous ganglionic fluid which would be the most common aspirate that we would get and it's a pale viscous fluid. Think of, of a very watery wallpaper paste. We might aspirate blood, particularly if we've been a little bit traumatic with our injection technique or if it's acute post-trauma such as a hemarthrosis. We might aspirate pus and if we do we need to consider sending that for microscopy. My, do you know I always struggle with this word microscopy culture and sensitivity my apologies or we might even take off some other random fluid it might be a turbid joint fluid we might see with certain arthropathies kind of a yicky brown fluid secret of aspiration is to use a wide bore needle and a large syringe think the Pousseil equation which is all about the, the wider the lumen the less pressure you need to push fluid or in this case to draw fluid through the lumen and there's a reference for ultrasound guided therapy for knee and foot ganglionic cysts. Um, there, is, there is some weak evidence to say ganglion aspiration will occasionally be um, therapeutic and definitive in terms of treatment. Rarely, but, but it certainly can help. So here's one of my pre and post. Here's a nice big ankle ganglion pre-aspiration and then post-aspiration. Little trick, and I'll mention it in the video coming up is if you put a needle in and you can't draw any fluid off sometimes there's, there's, uh, there's, there's a vacuum if you break the seal with the second needle that can sometimes make aspiration that little bit easier and this is what you're looking to see normal ganglionic uh, contents you can see the syringe on the right is very slightly pink that's probably a little touch of blood in that video coming up Here's a short video of a ganglion aspiration that we did in clinic recently. Here we're using a 10 mil syringe, a Lua Lock syringe with a green needle, 21 gauge. Ideally we would use a bigger syringe, a 20 mil syringe, which will give you a little bit extra pullback. And again, ideally a 19 gauge or a white needle, again, just to make the lumen of the needle as wide as possible. I've taken the sound off this video because unfortunately this particular clinic was next to a road and all we've got is traffic in the background, so it's not a very good quality audio. And my colleague, she's providing fairly steady and gentle suction on the needle to draw out the ganglionic fluids into the syringe. And you can see we're going to get about three to four mils in total. She's gently moving the needle around the sac and, and doing this with as, as minimal patient discomfort as possible. Once we think we've got all the solution out, we'll withdraw the needle. Sometimes we'll use a second needle to pop the vacuum, but we didn't need to in this case. This was quite a nice, easy aspirate. Needle will come out in three, two, one, and out.